in this session we are going to discuss about the hooks in cypress first of all understand what are hooks in cypress so you can say hooks are helpful to set conditions that you want to run before a set of tests before a set of test or before each test okay so it is something like that you are just providing a particular uh, you can say uh, order that when you are conditions should be executed in the same way you can also uh, use it or you can say they are also helpful to clean up conditions like clean up conditions means whenever you have uh, completed your test case so like you can say if you want to do something after a set of tests or after each test you can use the hooks so hooks are nothing they are the placeholders something like a placeholder where you can write your code and that are going to execute according to your uh, specific hook so we will learn every hook one by one the so first hook is that before each hook before each hook means if you are going to write any code in this before each hook this will run before every test block it will run before every test block so for that purpose i will give the example so this is my user registration page and i have written a three test cases from it just for demo purpose like i have written three test case validate first name valid middle name and valid last name i've created three test cases like a three test uh, uh, you can say three uh, text fields here okay uh, just for the demo purpose so here you can say that these are the my three test cases or three you can say test block here one two and three now here you can say that my requirement is that before running every test block or every test case i need to visit to the user session url that is supposed like the example my requirement so that's why i have written this code in every test block okay so now but this is not a good approach if we can use the you can say my hooks okay this can be easily uh, you can say i can achieve it so for that purpose i am going to use a hook that is called before each here before each we have before hook also but we will learn one by one so this is my before each hook and here you can write the message uh, you can say whatever you want to achieve like visit the application app li ch application and after that as a second parameter you can write a you can say function or a code which you want to call before every you can say that every uh, block here so here you can say that i'm writing this code again and again in every you can say block so instead of that i can use this one let me uh, copy this code and paste it here okay now i don't need to write this code in every uh, you can say my test block because what will happen i told you about the you can see feature of this before each uh, each uh, you can say uh, hook is that this block is going to or this hook is going to call before every test man it means before every test case this will visit to the url and wait for 3 seconds here so now let me run it and see that it's working or not control save it i right, so it is running so you can say before each is running here again valid again before each is running before middle name and again for the last name before each run so it means whatever code you want to run before every test block before each test block that you can use this uh, you can say before each block second is that we have you can say before hook before is that when you run when you want to run your code once before all test cases runs before all test cases so in that case i can give the example like uh, i can use this one i can use before to put some message here like before uh, let me use before hook here okay and uh, i'm going to write some uh, i want to put some log only for that so suppose you can say s t a r t i n g starting my uh, user registration scenario user scenario scenario okay so this is the you can say this is uh, actually i'm telling the message or you can say and now i'm going to write a uh, you can say this is actually you can say the uh, name you can say name of your before and now i'm going to write a, a place placeholder or you can say function for that so that you can uh, that will be called before uh, all the test cases before all the test cases but only once here so i can do one thing i can put a log here that will be sufficient for me okay but uh, usually you can write a code here to set up your report okay if you want to set up some report for all the test cases that i'm just giving the example otherwise i told you the purpose is that this is going to be executed before all the test cases only once so i'm putting a log message here so that you can see that it is really working or not and here i'm going to put the same hook you can see this message so you can say that when this is going to be called you can see it easily here so now let me do one thing let me control s and now you can see that this is going to call you can say before all before is called log once and now every time before each will call but before all is going to be called 
uh, you can say uh, before is going to call only once before all that test case. So this is the advantage of that. You can use for any purpose. Same thing you can say that I can show you. Let me copy this code here. And oh, sorry, let me do one thing. Uh, instead of that, let me go to the, you can say third type of my hook that is called after each hook. Now you understand that the purpose of hook is that we, you want to call any specific code in a particular flow. So uh, after each is going to run after each test block. After each test block, it is going to call it. Okay, so I can show you this thing again by putting a log here so that you can say it is going to call uh, after you can say that after each hook. Okay, so let me go here and I can write a code here. Suppose take the example AFTR after and you have an option after each here. Okay, now after each again, same thing is that you, whatever you are going to write it here, you can uh, just give the name for this one. So I'm writing, you can say uh, test case is you can say completed. So after every test case, I will just put a message that my test case is completed here. Okay, now uh, you can say that this is the name and same I want to put it in the form of log. So that's why I'm creating a blog here. In this blog, whatever code you want to write, you can write as your logic here. So I will write uh, cy dot and you can say log here. And in the log, I, I can do one thing. I can put the same message here. So you can say that I'm just giving a message here to tell you that uh, what uh, this you can say after each block is doing. So whenever you are going to call this after each, it is going to call after every test method. So you can see that in every test method, you will see this message that test case is completed. Let me show you before, after, uh, before each. Okay, and you can say that before each and you can say after each, okay. Okay, now you can see before each and after. It is a little bit quick. Maybe you are not able to see, but it is running after every test case here. Okay, now in the same way, we have last one that is called after. After means once, runs once all test cases are done. Means whenever you have all the test cases are executed, then it will run once after all. Only but once after all test cases, one. So same, I can do one thing. I can use a message for that. A F T R after and in the after you can say that let me put a log here. Okay, that and uh, you can say let me put a message here. So I can say that uh, ending a user ending my user scenario because I'm writing in the scenario. So it can be you can say it, it based on that that uh, you can say what is your requirement. So in my case, the requirement is that suppose take the example that I want to simply uh, you can say achieve this code here that I want to put this message here. Okay, so I will do one thing. I will write cy dot log here, and in the log you can say that I'm going to put a message here. So I will put the same message here. But this message, whichever which uh, which I have written in the you can say after it, this is going to call. This is going to call once after all these uh, test block or that method will be completed. Then it will call only once here. So now let me save it and see that it's working or not. So now you can see that. Starting for each is there, yes. Middle name is running for each and you can see that, yeah. And now you can say this is running before each. And at last you will see that it has executed, you can say that, that particular one, right? So if you want to see, let me show you one by one. Here you can say before all, before each is running here, right? Then test body and that after each. It means this is the flow here. And same thing you can say for the valid middle name, for each is there, then test body and after each. So after each is calling. Now in the valid last name before test body after it and this is the after all. So now this is the you can say a flow here that uh, flow that uh, when you want to call which code. So it is it depends on your scenario when you ever you want to call it and you want to take the advantage of that. Uh, I have given you the example there also same I've given it here like you can use the before each to uh, visit your application before every test case. If you have any doubt you can put your doubts in the comment of this video and if you like the video you can click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.